Next up, Florida's Operation Skin So Soft. 21 women arrested in massage parlor sting. Operation Skin So Soft was a two-day undercover operation that began after massage parlors were audited to make sure they comply with the law. Detectives went to 12 massage parlors in Davenport, Dundee, Lakeland, and Winter Haven to get massages from the licensed therapists. And 20 of the women offered to do sexual acts for money unprompted. Which one of you nasty bastards was paying real money to bang Bow Wah and Fing Wah? They gotta be CCP operatives. China sent them over there and said it's Florida. They don't have to be good looking women, not at all. We just need boots on the ground in that area and we'll save our much, much better looking assets for more cleaner parts of the country. We'll call it Operation Miso Horny. Three chicken wings with the fried rice. They said out of the 21, only one of them didn't offer sex to the undercover. And that's probably the best looking one out of that bag of hags. In a press release, Polk County Sheriff Grady Judd said the undercover operation, which encompassed multiple massage parlor locations, is part of a larger effort to hold those who break the law accountable at a press conference. He elaborated further, revealing that the name given to the sting operation Skin So Soft <laughs> was inspired by a compliment given to an undercover law enforcement official. We decided on that title because as we were auditing massage parlors, which we normally do for compliance with the law to make sure this sort of thing doesn't happen, one of these ladies said, oh, your skin's so soft, you must work inside, Judd told reporters on Thursday. Well, sometimes we work in massage parlors. It doesn't take a great detective to figure out everybody's Asian. Everybody's from China. I mean, there's, there's not another Asian country represented here, according to these ladies. So I often wonder, why do you have people from communist China here on legal work visas where they can infiltrate such areas? How does this even work? Is it like when cops are undercover and they have to smoke weed so the gang thinks that they're down, so the gang thinks that they're hip? How do you know a prostitute is a prostitute if you don't take any evidence from her? How do you know it's the real deal? Would having sex with a prostitute compromise the situation or would it verify everything? All told, 22 parlors were audited with 12 determined to be not in compliance with the law. Additionally, these facilities were engaged in alleged prostitution Constitution. Alleged means suspected. You were supposed to come back with a happy ending, some solid evidence. Those arrested ranged in age from 31 to 64. 64, that coochie should be on a porch knitting a sweater by now, right? With one arrestee in particular accused of being extremely aggressive when trying to initiate non-massage services. <laughs> In fact, non-massage services, in fact, at least according to Judd, this particular individual tried to have full sex with an undercover detective at one point becoming extremely aggressive. The undercover would say, no, 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 just a massage, just a massage. So on three different occasions, she continued to try to come back and upcharge him to engage in sex. That extremely aggressive one had to be the manager, the final boss, the hurry up and buy, the you pay now of massage parlor prostitution. Among the misdemeanor charges spread out across the 21 arrestees are offering to commit prostitution, unlicensed massage therapy, resisting arrest, battery, and false imprisonment. While the latter is a third degree felony, the rest are misdemeanors. Furthermore, only one individual was charged with false imprisonment. There you have it, kids. Operation Me Love You Long Time. Tell me what you think.